Hungover. I'm hungover. Speaking of that. Anison. <laughs> I remember Anison. But while Bayer, Buffer, and Anison start with the same amount of these pills weight, are actual size. Anison adds uh, yeah, well, three percent more. <laughs> then Anison adds an extra. It's like goddamn. Found in the others. <laughs> the extra ingredient is opioids. Home at last. <laughs> Feels good. <laughs> like, Isn't that Anison? Forgot all about my. Head. Someday it'll come to be known as Oxycontin. All right. All right, we're jumping into the short now. We learn about the telephone. The telephone. Yeah. Run! Run! She has a weird voice. That's no way to answer the phone, Susie. <laughs> oh, Matthew's resident. What do you want? Jimmy. <laughs> Just a minute, That's how I answer the phone. Uncle Bill, Captain Adams wants <laughs> to talk to you. Thanks, Jimmy. Thanks, Jimmy. Hi, Captain. This is Bill. No, we don't usually have ducks answer the phone. I mean, only on no, Duck Sunday. Susie. Yeah. My I niece mean, and nephew are visiting me, and I promise to take them on a picnic. I don't know. I, I don't know. I answer the phone. Go. You need that poster today. <laughs> if it doesn't stop, there won't be any picnic. Oh, we don't. Ah. Ah. Crackle like it it Yeah, oh. it's great weather for ducks. I think she ducks. communicates oh, primarily yeah. via duck. Yeah. All of these voices are dubbed. Yeah, like badly. Here's our friend. Well, it's like totally a voiceover because there's no echo or anything. Oh, it's one of these. I'm going to draw and it's, and it's going to animate Mr. magically. Man. He's going to take yep. us back. Thousands of years, way before telephones or televisions. We, we didn't ask about all this, but okay. He looks a little like you, Uncle Bill. <laughs> he looks a little like all of us, Jimmy. It's very generic. Ready, Mr. Man? Yeah. Man has played many parts oh. during the years he has lived on Earth. <laughs> Uncle Bill, what was so in those mushrooms he gave us? Time. <laughs> he discovered he could ride horses. Discover the unicorn. Yeah, that horse looks super pleased to be. The Romans used horses. Yep. He rides with his sword out because so he's a weirdo. Right. And then we invented the telephone. That's right. <laughs> Nope, not to yet. Send messages faster than a runner or a horse could travel. You know what they say: if you see a ship passing, they blink their lights at you. Don't blink That's back because they might, message. they might hunt yes. you down. About 125 Correct. years ago, yeah. Samuel Morris invented the telegraph. That is what they say. A way to send code messages over an electric wire. The code was made by using different clicks for each letter of the alphabet. Sam Morris, he's like, what should First I name this code generator? Wire mm. was I know. What? Hath God wrought. The Sam. <laughs> the telegraph was and Why did you do it in old English, Sam? But Mr. Man wanted to send his voice <laughs> over a distance to carry on a real conversation. Yeah, has would be shorter, then Sam. In yeah. A man found a way. I guess we don't need to know his name. The telephone. No. It's been redacted oh, from history. Phone, yes. We're not allowed to know Hello, Alexander Mr. Graham Bell. Oops. Jimmy. Hi, Mom. Hi. Yes, we got here before the rain started. Uncle Bill's going to take us on a picnic if it lets up. But he has that restraining order. He's not allowed. Oh, well. I'll tell you about it when we get home. Okay, Mom. Also, he gave us these tabs of paper, and now we can what see his, doing, his drawings anime. She wanted to hear the voice going through the wire. What is she? Oh. You can't hear voices in the wire. Well, how does it work? How'd your mother's voice get in the phone? That's simple. She's haunting it. Pretend now he's a musician. All sounds come from a movement of the air. Back and forth. Like waves. I don't see any waves. That's because you're a dumbass, Jimmy. <laughs> I have seen strings and rubber bands move back and forth. I'll bet he has. But I've never seen a sound wave. <laughs> well, you can't really see them, you hear them. If you could see them, they'd look like this. Ooh. Different kinds of sounds. Oh. So he's Different drawing this as they're standing there? I, I guess so? Like. Mm -hmm. A low sound. I feel like at this point they've been there for six six hours. <laughs> as he's drawing, he's ripping pages off his off his pad. Just as flipping he's through, through, yeah. <laughs> hey, Rudolph, that's the wrong note. You son of a bitch. You see, people's voices make sound waves too. When we speak, there. air from our lungs moves vocal cords like these in our throats. When we vomit, it also makes a noise. Hey, I mean, Rudolph, this movement make sound waves and send them out of our mouth. Hey! And your nose, hey! apparently, according to this. When sound waves <laughs> yeah, reach say. the ear of another person, 
If you can talk out of your nose, you can be on America's Got Talent. I see. But how do you hear over the telephone? We're coming to that. When Mr. Man speaks into the telephone, Mr. Man got fired from the orchestra. Wires makes it possible for the other person to hear what Mr. Man is saying, just as quick as a flash. But how? Well, when he has dialed his friend and his friend Rudolph drunk dial. The flow of electricity in the wires connects Mr. Man's telephone. To you know, Mr. Man didn't go to seven years for, of man school to just to be called Mr. Oh. Mm -mm. Mr. No, he could have gone to Juilliard, but no, he had to go to no, man school. Man school. These sound waves make the electricity. God damn it, you son of a bitch! And weaker. Wait, so the phone's like an electric ear? Voice makes. Remember uh, now, that's what this seems to imply. <laughs> Would you repeat that slowly, Put sir? Put the duck on. <laughs> well, you must have the wrong number. What number are you calling? It's We're not so loud. My ear is bleeding. I'm sorry, but this is 555 five, five, Oh, they were going with the 555 five, five back then. Okay. Oh, yeah. I don't know how far back that went, because there weren't there were a time period where they were putting real phone numbers on TV and stuff. Yeah, well, you know... Then people would call those real numbers, and yeah. that's when they instituted the 555 five, five thing. Say, Just think, it's, at some point, somebody service. went, Hey, you know what we'll never the need be the ring more master. than Sounds 10 like million fun. of phone numbers? Right. There we are. May I draw his whip? Sure. His whip? What, what, what's going on here? Is this an S&M guy? That's not what much of a whip. It? Here. Yeah, I was going to say... I'm gonna draw a cat of nine tails. Okay. All set, Mr. Man. I'm gonna draw the bottle of rot gut in his pocket. Ladies Put a ball gag on him. <laughs> a gimp mask. The most sensational talking animal act. The world. Do you think that's Mel Blanc doing that? I don't. I, I really don't want it to be. Well, yeah, you'd hope he would. By 1947, he was doing Bugs Bunny, so I doubt it. But, I mean, you know, he could be still in that mindset of doing everything he can. Yeah. Please don't roar. I think that is Mel Blanc. Yeah, I think it is. I'm going to have to look it up after we're done. That's right. Um, Just use your speaking I have to say, like, the crow and the, the lion mouth. talking over the phone is the least offensive thing I've seen in this video so far. <laughs> the least offensive. <laughs> okay, suppose his name was Raymond. Let's see. A comes before O in the alphabet. Oh, here we go on alphabetizing. So Alright. Comes before R-O of Robert. I know. And the telephone book is arranged in alphabetical order. What does that mean? And the encyclopedia. We look up words I imagine little it. girls probably out in the street right now playing in traffic. <laughs> but remember, Jimmy, Jesus always comes first. <laughs> Hi there. Children, this is Captain Adams. Hello, Captain Adams. How are you today? See, that's a voiceover, but the other people sound like they're... I don't know. That's weird. The audio's kind of funky. She wants to be everything when she grows up. Here's the emergency poster you wanted. Thanks. Because you can hear some I'm ambient James noise of, like, the street. Like how the and then when this guy talks on the right, it's like... Right. You come inside for a minute and I'll show yeah, you. Yeah, it sounds like a voiceover. I don't know. It's, it, I... Now, the telephone helps us because it lets us know... See, now it sounds normal, like a room and how, mic. And where we yeah. Can help yeah. How would I call the police if I needed them? This poster your uncle made will well, show you Well, this is how. probably an actual studio. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they have, like, a boom mic over these guys, but on the street, it was like, I don't know how they mic'd them. Emergency, I don't know. I'm sure this is this is real fucking compelling to your audience. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's as compelling as what's on the screen, so. Remember? I was speculating about how they recorded this. Yes. You know, listen, everybody, we are just, we're so hypnotized. Oh, yeah. Like how sure fucking boring oh, this is. Oh, there's no lights on this phone. That's fancy. Oh, yeah. Well, it's got the different, um, the different lines on it. Yeah, lines, yeah. One of those goes to Batman. That's right. You say, I want a policeman, please, and the operator will connect you with the police station. I'd like to prank the police, please. I want somebody... Like the Batman's so answer. rich, he's got one phone line that goes you in only. Who you are, yeah. Who you are, and why you're calling the police. 
And also, he kidnaps young boys and puts them in short pants. Get out on all points bullet. Come on! Get the lead out. Linda Hoskins. You only ever hear about all points bulletins. You never hear about, like, several points bulletins. Yeah, partial point bulletin. Elm Street, I know who's there. Freddy Krueger. This is Officer Jensen. There's some guy with claws on his hands over here. That's what I'm calling you about. She was all alone, looking in a toy store window. Uh huh. She was having a weird dream. She's fine. Good work. This is before they invented child protective services. See how the telephone helps us do our job? Call Mrs. Hoskins and tell her we found her little girl. What am I, your slave? I'll show you something. I guess he is the captain. They probably should listen to him. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. There it is. The telephone there it is, the morgue. Oh. In many ways, it ties the community together. When you dial a number... Oh, my God, look at this. ...inside the telephone building automatically oh, connects you with the brutal. person you're calling. <laughs> look at all these. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. ...miles and miles away. Thousands I literally just go got... Uh, this is fucking Riley's migraine day. looking at this. 50 pounds of butter. 50 pounds of butter. And God damn, one what are you cooking? Eggs. We'll deliver it today. Oh, it's making a butter sculpture. Oh, okay. When can I bring Tommy in for his checkup? Let me see. How about never? How about Tuesday, uh, 4 o'clock? That will be fine. Well, wow. <laughs> great read. This is Les Perkins. That will be fine. My produce truck's broken down. <laughs> I don't know what's the matter. Uh, does it have gas? Highway 26 near Maple Avenue. Okay, Les. I'll be right out. Yeah. Lena, I'll be out next week. Stay for lunch. May I? All right, Hell no. Dear, but be home by three o'clock. She's a Hi, slut. That shipment gone to Plainview yet? Not yet <laughs> his com his conversations now. are great. Good. <laughs> Listen, Jess. They just called. They want three more cartons of soap. And also, you're okay, fired. Carl. I like how some of these well, actors are really fucking complete. like going into it. Like, right. Yeah, I know. Not yet. Not yet. Let's and then the one the lady's like, Matt, 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 Matt. <laughs> right. Like, calling. like, she is not trying. I'm sorry, the line is busy. I'll keep trying and calling. Yeah, you're fucked. Bye. Mr.